hundred years ago month, a 30-year-old Albert Einstein stood up in front of the Prussian present a radical new theory of space, time, and gravity, the general theory of relativity. General relativity is unquestionably Einstein's masterpiece, a theory which reveals the workings of the universe at the grandest scales, capturing in one beautiful line of algebra everything from why apples fall from trees to the beginning of time and space. 1915 must have been an exciting year to be a physicist. Two new ideas were turning the subject on its head. One was Einstein's theory of relativity. The other was arguably even more revolutionary, quantum mechanics. A mind-meltingly strange yet sneakable new way to understand the micro world. Okay, uh, 1915. Why he said that for physicists uh, that year was so, so exciting? Well, because they made discovery. Tries. Uh, two, two great discoveries. Which ones? Uh, Einstein. Could you name? <laughs> Einstein, Einstein theory of relativity and the second is a quantum mechanics ah yes uh, can you can you read the captions please yes please wait uh -huh. uh, of understanding the micro world the world of atoms and particles translate понимание uh, микромира uh, atomov uh, it, it's quantum mechanics it's yes it's 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 not the work of Einstein Einstein uh, work it's about space it's about universe it's about very very big uh, world okay of atoms and particles over the last century, these two ideas have utterly transformed our understanding of the universe. It's thanks to relative quantum mechanics that we've learned what the universe is made from, how it began, and how it continues to evolve. A hundred, we now find ourselves at another point in physics, but what's at stake now is rather different. The next few years may tell us whether we'll be able to continue to increase our understanding of nature, or whether maybe for the first time in the history of Please read. Um, please, uh, or whether maybe for the first time in the history of science, uh -huh. science we could be facing questions that we answer. Please read. We could be facing questions that we cannot answer. Good. Translate, please. Возможно, впервые за историю физики мы встречаемся с вопросом, на который мы не можем ответить. Yes. Not because we don't have the brains or technology, but because the laws of physics themselves forbid it. Please read it. So very important. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll tell you what was before. Not because we don't have brains or technology, but because... But because the laws of physics themselves forbid it. Okay. That's so interesting. Translate. Но потому что законы физики сами это запрещают. Нет. Не из-за того, что у нас не хватает мозгов или технологий. Законы физики запрещают. This is the essential problem. The universe is far, far too interesting. Relativity and quantum mechanics appear to suggest that the universe should be a boring place. It should be dark, lethal and lifeless. Sorry, but... Uh, his words, a theory of uh, rel uh, relativity, Einstein theory, and quanta mechani mechanics suggest that universe, and you please read. Uh, that the universe is boring, yes. little and lifeless. And lifeless. Okay. But when we look around us, we see we live in a universe full of interesting stuff. For of stars, planets, trees, squirrels. Uh, the question is, ultimately, why interesting stuff exist? Why is there something rather than nothing? Uh, why is it something rather than nothing? How would you translate it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
This contradiction is the most pressing problem in fundamental physics, and in the next few years, we may find out whether we'll ever be able to solve it. At the heart of this problem are two numbers, two extremely dangerous numbers. These are properties of the universe that we can measure, and they're extremely dangerous because if they were different, even by a tiny then the universe as we know it would not exist. Okay, uh, uh, another crazy idea. He said that uh, there are two numbers, very dangerous numbers. Uh, uh, he, he said it very quickly, but I, I watched uh, this video before two times. Uh, do you understand why uh, it is very dangerous two numbers? Well, read the captions. Re yet. Read the captions. If the numbers would be a little different, then read the, 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 the captions. Uh, then the universe as we know it would not exist. Please translate. Тогда Вселенная в таком виде, как мы ее знаем, не существовала бы. Oh, yes. Если бы эти два страшных числа были бы несколько иными. The first numbers is associated with the discovery that made a few kilometers from this hall at CERN, home of this machine, the largest scientific device ever built by the human race, the Large Hadron Collider. Please read the, the, the caption. Mm, the Large uh, Hadron Collider? Yes, the Large Hadron Collider. We uh, talked a lot about it with you. In which country is it? It's in Europe, but in well, which... Well, I think it is... Uh, in some Scandinavian countries? No, no, no. In very, very Sweden rich, or in no? very rich country, which is in the middle of the Europe, and the, probably the richest country in the world. Which one? Switzerland. Absolutely, Switzerland. It is a Scandinavian country. No way. <laughs> isn't it? No it, way. It, it, it isn't a Scandinavian country. Oh no! You are talking about okay. Sweden. Sweden and Switzerland. Trans I thought they both were. No. Oh, Georgie. You will try there, I hope. Why I hope? Because you have a nice brain and uh, you will try. So, uh, it's uh, in the middle of uh, the Europe. It's a very rich country. It borders uh, with uh, France and uh, with Germany. That's why, by the way, I met pe people, I met, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a secret, I was there, I was in Switzerland, and uh, mm, you know what shocked me there, people talked there uh, on four languages, four languages, uh, which languages do they speak? You are well, uh, English, one. Uh, their language, maybe? Uh, two, yes, two, good. And two more. Uh, I, uh, I told you about borders. French. Well, French and uh, the last? German. Hmm. And German. But the most common is probably still English. Uh, no. Uh, uh, the most uh, popular uh, is uh, some kind of uh, French, some kind okay. of French. Uh, so you said their own language, their own language, which which is a mixture of other European languages. And the second place is uh, French, and the third place is German, and the fourth place is English. The fourth place. Okay, and, All right. so, and so, Georgie, we uh, talked about this. Uh, it's he said it's the biggest technological machine produced by uh, humanity. How big it is in diameter? Uh, 
Oh, I don't remember, but it's uh, more than, uh, well, it's several kilometers long. Uh, good idea, Georgie. In, the, in diameter, it is 30 kilometers. In diameter. So, it's if it's a circle, probably uh, 200 kilometers. Okay. But, Georgie, I don't like this experiment. So, where, where is the goal of this experiment? What do they want to imitate? Well, to imitate, well, acceleration of particles at great speeds. Oh, nice, Georgie. To imitate Big Bang. Yes. Is yes. Oh, yes, you said yes. But uh, what about safety reasons? What do you think? Well, of course it is not too safe. I know that once upon a time a person's head was penetrated with a particle. Thank he you. was from Russia and he survived, actually. Thank you, George. Thank you. But, uh, of course, they say, you know, uh, it is only two particles. They are moving uh, towards each other with the greatest speed and it will be an imitation of Big Bang in a very, very uh, uh, little scale. But uh, are you not afraid of real Big Bang? What do you think? Well, this collider might be very powerful, but I don't think we can simulate the whole Big Bang again. Fine. Don't you think? Uh, well, uh, s still, still for me it's a dangerous machine. It's a dangerous machine. Okay. L okay, so, uh, uh, let's... By, by the way, Georgie, how much money uh, uh, is it cost? Well, of course it is very expensive. Good. You you kept silence for for several seconds because it's not very expensive. It's very 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 expensive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The LHC whizzes subatomic particles around a 27 kilometer ring, getting them closer and closer to the speed of light before smashing them into each other in scientific particles. On the 4th of July 2012, physicists at CERN announced to the world that they'd spotted a new fundamental particle being created at the violent collisions at the LHC, the Higgs boson. Georgie, please read the caption. Uh, being created at the violent collisions at the LHC, the Higgs boson. Good. As they found a new particle, which names is... Well, the, you can the Higgs boson. Higgs boson. Georgie, uh, I have a practical question to you. Okay, uh, they found a very important thing. They say that it's very important. I don't believe them. How much uh, do we pay for this uh, discovery? Is it not too much, what do you think, to find a Higgs boson for billions of dollars? What do you think? Well, the element itself is quite useless because it exists for fractions of a second. No. But its scientific value is probably quite big. Georgie, we are talking about such issues uh, like uh, environment, uh, about pandemics, uh, can probably we put this money uh, 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 in different way? What do you think? Well, they thought that this would be more important. Georgi, I'll I'll ask you more directly. Yes, yes, you like a diplomat. You like a diplomat, but. I uh, would ask you a more direct question. Let's say you are a very, very rich man, richer than Bill Gates. 
and uh, I am a great scientist and I come to you and I promise you 100 uh, percent to make a great discovery in physics if Georgie uh, you gives me let's say 100 billion dollars what okay, will be cool. your answer Georgie well yes why not fine let's watch <laughs> Further. I mean, of course, uh, you could. This doesn't prevent you from doing charity or anything like that. You told me I was super rich, so if I give you one hundred billion dollars, I would still have money. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie, nice answer, because you calculated how much Bill Gates has, so one hundred billion dollars, not so much for him, right? Probably not. Let's just uh, check it real quick. Bill okay. Gates. Well. Nice. Nice. How much does he have? Uh, well, he has 107.1 billion dollars. <laughs> so, Georgie, he has to give me everything. Well, he would still have 7 billion remaining. <laughs> Georgie, absolutely great answer. 